Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we're going to continue with Ship Evolution and we're going to get right to it. Alright, so we have Ship Evolution. This is the respawn pod. We evolved the front of the ship. So we have a bit of a bridge right there. So far back, it actually looks pretty good. Um, kind of like a spade or a shovel front bridge looking like thing. And then the back is a little bit more exposed equipment, which makes it even look better. But the front, not much we can really expose, um, especially when you're probably going to get attacked. Honestly, all this should probably be heavy armor eventually. And of course, this is a never surrender scenario. So we will be battling things as well. So we need to add room for weapons. Um, turrets, Gatlins. Uh, I think auto cannons or assault cannons, things like that. Even the rail gun that we can attach onto this thing too. So good news is from the last episode or so, we do have uranium. So we have almost unlimited power for the most part. We can get more uranium by these asteroids. So we last left off with kind of figuring how figuring out how to do the bottom half of the ship. So the bottom half of the ship is a little bit um, difficult to kind of figure out because this was supposed to be a double decker system eventually. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we're going to figure that out, but we're just going to build as we go organically as we've always done. And of course, there are things that we need to move, such as spotlights and even some ion thrusters as well. We need to change them too. Yeah, so the inside looks actually pretty decent. We do have to close it up a little bit. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave the helm here just for transporting purposes so we can see. But we are going to leave or maybe even cage up another cockpit. Maybe leave this one here cage it up with some heavy armor blocks so when we get into um battle situation we can jump into here instead and that'll be our, our battle stations or battle controls or something similar to that so right now the outside piece looks um like we need to close it up a bit so we can add doors and such so we could kind of close it out like this right here and right here and leave the middle part kind of exposed for the time being so then that way this is going to be enclosed in that aspect. But we're, we're not in a hurry to kind of enclose it anyway. So we should be okay. The more important piece here right now is trying to figure out how we can link this together with what we got right now. So with this kind of shaping here, um, it looks okay. It's just that it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it from this triangular shape or pyramid like shape into the bottom half without making it look terrible brick like um but i guess we could kind of figure that out in a bit i think what i want to do is kind of extend this out and see what it looks like and then we can decide on what we want to do from there uh, before we waste too much hydrogen let's go in here and turn that off the ion thrusters to keep it balanced. It's we just leave it as that. It should be okay. And I think we test out flying the ship a little bit, and it worked out okay. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I feel like I sh I want to turn off the 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 the, the, the GPS pointers because it's hit everywhere. But I'm afraid something might actually attack us, and we won't even be able to see, be able to see it. So I think we're gonna take that risk right now. Leave it as is. Okay. So if we extend this out, let's just build the brick like first and then I guess we'll just adjust as we go. All right, so we want to keep the spacing as three up, one, two, three, like that. So luckily in the very beginning, we kept this very flat on the bottom. So we could just add on from there. So something for an example, we want to, that's not counting that one. One, two, three, that's the spacing. And the fourth one's the floor. So this one here is apparently five. So again, we're just going to get brick like for now and we'll connect all these together, right? Just to make it look brick like for now. And then we'll figure out 
the um, kind of the bridge piece versus the bottom piece. So that's kind of what I wanted to do, but not really. We do want to extend this out even more. Right, so it's going to look... Um, let me see here. If we extend this out kind of like this and design it a little bit better soon, it should be okay. So let's just say we put all this here as protection or whatever you want to do with this right and i want to extend this out even more so it looks kind of like that so maybe we do it this way no wait we're gonna do this way so i wanted to do something like that so maybe we can't extend it that way no i don't like it um here what we're we gonna do we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna do this boom so it mimics the top and it looks almost the same from there so that's that's how I kind of want to do it only problem here is that this wing piece so what we can do is maybe utilize this piece right here like so does that make sense or do we want to make it further in? That might look okay. All right, so we got to do that same exact thing on this side. Right there. And we'll just close it out the same exact way with the mini ramp like thing. So apparently we could use, you could, we could use this or use stairs. Either one works well. Um, if I use stairs, I wonder what that's going to kind of look like, but yeah. Then we'll weld this up really quick and see what that looks like. Alright, so that didn't take too long to do. Um, well missed the spot here all right so what's that gonna look like um makes it look a little bit on the odd side uh yeah a little bit so we could change that up so i think if this is the length of it what we can do is kind of make it look a little bit different right over here so we can do maybe something like this just to add a little bit to it. Here we go. So a little bit of a corner shape, sharpness to it. And there. So that's looking okay. Not too, too crazy. Not too bad either. We could add bigger ion um, thrusters as well. So that's another thing we can do. So here's the large one, right? So it's, it is a three width. So it's actually kind of perfect if I did add this here. So maybe I should do that. <laughs> I think if it did that, it might look pretty good. Um, I could add it right in there. Yeah, I think I could add it right in there. Like that. Right there. And then we're going to stick out just a tad. Should we try it? I think we should. So actually, we would have to get rid of this steel plate over here or blocks and then we can add that thruster there and that thruster is like too wide or so so it kind of gives more uh, design to it as well so let's just say for an example if we wanted to plug this guy right here and it looks like we could plug him right into it so it would look like that all right, so that's not too bad. I think I would prefer this piece to be out a little bit more if that's the case. So for example, I think I'm just gonna have to add a little more right there. So maybe not too much. Uh, so let's try this. And we can actually do the same on this side too just to give it a little bit more of a touch to it. So weld that up, see what it looks like. There. So, nope, I'm not liking that too much. 
I actually prefer it to be a little bit on the like not so even look right so there should it be like that or should we even it out with that piece I think it actually looked a little bit better when it was even out with this piece here so that means we're gonna do this so I think it's the original design I had in the first place <laughs> so yeah that's looks a little bit better than what it was so if it sticks out like that hmm I think this is the problem right here. If we can even it out. I think we have to even it out. Yeah, I think we'll even it out that way to make it look a little bit better. I think that does look a little bit better that way. So we're just going to put this here. All right. So if we really needed to, we can do this. And that's not too bad either. Right there and right there. Yeah, that looks good. For the rear at least so let me get some energy and we'll continue with this all right so we can we can weld this up now but we can save it for later as well i think we're probably going to save it for later for the time being i feel like we could just you know add blocks here instead and it looks like we have something in the way so we just get rid of that and add the blocks here we just add it for now, as I said, it's just going to look kind of brick-like for now. And then we'll adjust as we go um, later on. But I wanted to add kind of like the top side of the the current build right now. So that's what we're doing at the very, very moment. So looks like we just got to add it this way. And it looks like we have a lot of room for other things too. So that's a good thing. All right, so that's the refinery... We're at this here. There you go. So even adding that with the thrusters nearby, it doesn't look too bad, which is good news. So that's the top half. And on the bottom part, we can mimic the same to equal just to this ion thruster if we wanted to, or we could go a different route. Um, I'm more inclined to say, if, can we bring it out a little bit more, right? So I want to bring it out kind of like this as an example. I'm just going to build it out from here. Can we just do it this way? And we can mimic the same thing as before. We'll bring it out there and we'll put the blocks here, I guess, like so. Um, it kind of doesn't work out as much as I want it to. So what if we did... Hmm... What if we just did the more angled version, which is going to be this guy here. So it looks like that. So it has like a, a double, double layer, double layer, a double layer, double layer kind of aspect to it. And that might be okay. Yeah, we can, we can stick with that. I, I think we can stick with that for sure. So we just, again, we just add the blocks to the side here. We'll add more to it or less on that very end piece over there. But I think if we add it this and this, that looks pretty decent. Uh, not too, too bad. So this piece will be laying on this here and that'll be laying on that. So. There you go. Okay. No, I like that design. It's not looking too bad. We'll, once again, weld this up and be right back. Alright, so that's that. We can leave some room for other things. So, if we want the three spacing, what I'm going to do is probably add the three spacings here. Yeah. 
three spacings there, and I keep missing these one-off blocks for whatever reasons. <laughs> uh, no reason whatsoever. I should be having that issue. And I think I need to connect some of this here. Um, yeah, let's just weld this one up for now. We'll figure the piece out later. I kind of want to keep some spots empty, like so. Um, just in case if you want to add something in between for spacing issues or anything like that. So here we got one layer, two layer, third layer. And this is going to be the fattest layer for now. So we have our three spacing going up. And then the bottom layer, we're going to do a skinny version again. So it's basically going to mimic the second tier, which is this right here. That's what I kind of want to do with this. Just to give it a little bit more kind of look to it. And it also presents an opportunity to add another thruster, to be honest. <laughs> do we want that many thrusters? Probably not. But... There's room to do it. That's the thing. So we're going to mimic the top layer. So if I'm correct, we start angling here. Okay. So let's see how this kind of looks. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm just building as we go and everything's going to be kind of organically. So it's all trial and error at this point. Um, sometimes I have ideas in mind and blueprints that I can think about. But really right now, it's just on the fly. I don't know exactly what I'm thinking and how to build all this, but I'm just going to build it to see what it's going to look like. All right, so I got the fat layer down and then this is going to be the lower tier level of it so that's looking decent and i may need to close these out for air tightness purposes so that's what it's gonna look like um we'll weld this together and hopefully it'll bring out the design a little bit more that way All right, so it looks like we are all done with the welding process. So we are mimicking the top and bottom here perfectly well. And we, we didn't do all the welding, but <laughs> we were kind of there in some ways, but we don't have to weld up right now, this moment. So here we have a lot of space down here, right? So that's looking good. It's like this and this can go because that's just in the way. This ion thruster is going to bring it um the height down a bit but it's looking decent you have your top layer third layer and then we round off the bottom layer as well what can we put here we could put another ion thruster if we wanted to so that would look kind of like i guess something like this if we can put it anywhere i think we need to add a little bit more blocks but um we couldn't put it against the top one I, we could, but it's not going to look that flushed. So what we may need to do if we do want to add this, and I'm just going to add it 
for the time being, right? It does reduce a little bit more space um, from what we would prefer, but it should be okay. Apparently, I gotta add a block there, so we're gonna add a block there. And we'll place it. It's not letting me do it, so let me do that instead. I think that will give me the ability to put that there. Okay, so here we go. So we can add two to make it look like that. Does that look good? Um, so it looks good like this, but adding this layer, not so much. <laughs> but now it gives us the opportunity to, let's just say for an example, we could add a nice little kind of um, piece right here. So it could be either some sort of cylindrical thing or I don't know, uh, windows, vertical windows or something like that. That's a possibility or a viewpoint viewpoints or something. I'm not sure what we want to do there, but if we did do it, uh, we have like a little great system right in between here. So the outer piece looks good for the most part but we're not keeping this i think uh we do want to put refineries and such as well so this looks okay but i feel like we should have to stick out more than anything else um because so, if we have it sticking out for an example i think if we had it sticking out like so either it's gonna be just at the very tip I think that's going to be the same design on both sides, yeah. So if it sticks out like that, that might look better. So it's going to be the same thing for this one where we should do the same thing. And it's also going to get some more space in the back as well. So that's always a good thing. So once again, we just add this guy. Well, hopefully we can add it right there. Here we go. So that's looking good. And if we need to give it more design, once again, we'll just cut that off and make it look like that. I don't know if that looks good or not, but <laughs> it kind of works. It kind of doesn't. We can add a pillar in between or something similar to that to add a little bit more to it. So if we add it like this, that might look okay or put it here. I don't know at this point, um, but it's looking decent. So I, I do want the bottom piece to look decent as much as it does on top. So that's why I kind of want to mimic that top part there. So I think if we get rid of this, actually, it would look a little bit better. Yeah. And if we did, I don't know, once again, we can do like these, these vertical windows. Well, not the vertical, diagonal windows like this. It might add a little bit more uh, design to it. So, but we can leave it as is for the time being, right? So, we're going to add a lot more to this. I think I want to add the refineries. Maybe either part of this block here or out here. I do want to expose them on the outside. Because when you add the mods, it looks cool. Obviously, it's not an ideal placement for refineries, especially if it's a like a warship or something like that, right? So that's the other part that's gonna give me some worries here. And other pieces that I always design the ship first, and then I think about doing the weapons. Might not be the best idea in this case, <laughs> because it's just gonna look like an afterthought, and it's gonna look really, really awkward. So. Luckily, we're just going to kind of design it out as much as we can. And then we're going to, you know, kind of rebuild as we go. So we fill our bottles in case. All right. So here we go. So that's looking, you know, not too, too bad. It's, it's a little awkward right now. Um, only because it is um, kind of brickish in that sense. I don't know how we're going to connect this and make it smooth at the very moment, but we can figure it out soon. Um, in terms of left and right thrusting, maybe we can add the large ones in the back too. That's always a possibility. 
Um, I was thinking of adding kind of a similar design as the front right by the wing section. If that can work out, that'd be awesome. But I'm not sure if it can. <laughs> it's the biggest problem. So I think right now, this moment, we have... How much stuff we need to refine still? We still have a lot of stuff to refine. Yeah. So if we refine... If we keep building and refine slowly one refinery, you know, basic refinery, I think we should be okay. So maybe we don't need multiple refineries. Uh, if we do one, it's probably going to be temporary. So I think the build process is going to take so long that by the time I'm done <laughs> thinking it through, we should have a decent ship and all the everything is refined uh, for the most part. I do didn't forget, but in some ways didn't account for is a drill system. <laughs> so we won't be able to drill anytime soon. Maybe we have we need a secondary drill system. I don't know, um, but that's is what it is currently. Maybe we could make a small drill system eventually, and kind of use that. And I'm kind of thinking if I got rid of this one, we could fly in a small ship from down here. The other option is to put one ion thruster right here in the middle. So those are some choices I have there. <laughs> so the double ion thruster would be good because it will thrust us forward really, really fast. But it will also kill our batteries pretty, pretty fast too. Um, maybe we don't do these ion thrusters. Maybe this will be our entryway for a ship, a small drone, a drill ship or something like that. Would that, would that be the strat at the moment? Hmm. I think that might be the potential thought or idea here. And we could kind of leave it as that. Yeah, let's leave it open for now. We'll think about it because we could definitely fit a small drill ship here, even with a large cargo container um, on a small grid it's possible it's, it's gonna be tight so i do have to wind this out a little bit if anything but that could be where we put our drill ship for the time being so that is an idea <laughs> most definitely an idea and in terms of thrusting or thruster power we could put some on the side out here temporarily as well so lots to think about but while we're doing that let's just you know kind of break up the whole thing here and just add the floor system right here and then we can add i think we gotta add more to it actually yeah so we gotta add this side right here well, actually we can't. So we gotta be careful of these things. So that's gonna burn through. Actually, it probably won't. One, two, three. I think it's gonna be on its threshold, but I'm gonna leave it so that it doesn't burn through. And then these guys will probably burn through. So we just gotta keep a hole here for the time being so that it doesn't kind of fry everything up and waste materials which we should have a decent amount of materials anyways but let's just leave those open for now there we go so that's looking decent so if we weld everything up we could get a better sense of what that's gonna kind of look like for the time being
All right, so looks like we got the bottom piece looking decent. All right, so um, we'll leave this open for now. We're going to figure out this piece right here. So can we use... What can we use to flush this out? I think we can still use... One of these guys here to do that. Yeah, right here. So that flushes that part out, and that's fine. So now the rest of it's going to look a little bit awful. So we'll see what that kind of turns out um, in that sense. All right, so that's plugged in. We can do that. So I was kind of hoping to save this for last. <laughs> because it's going to be a little more difficult to figure out. But if we curve it in here. Hmm. How can we do that? It's going to be. It looks. It's going to be a little awkward to do it too. So. Didn't want to brick it. In a sense. Uh, like right here. This spot. We can continue to add. Not this piece. But kind of like this piece like that if you wanted to. Right? Just to continue to make it a little more flushed. But the rest of it, that's where it gets tricky. Like for this piece right here, what we're we gonna put there. That's that's uh a bit of the kind of like the unknown part right now. I mean there's definitely pieces where we can add um for this, right? Whether it's something like that. Well, probably not that one, really, but somewhere in here, there should be a piece that's going to fit perfectly and flush with this. I would hope. <laughs> um, and I think there is. So we can keep looking for it or not. doesn't really matter at this point because um, we're not going to do it too much of it. Like, well, actually, that was close, but not necessarily the same P, the right piece but I know there's a piece for it um, which could be I don't know so we have it's like half piece half piece I mean what really fits there is going to be that <laughs> right so we add that there now that's where it gets a little different a little odd here um so I don't know. I really don't know how to kind of kind of put this together where it looks nice and flushed um, to the front piece. So that's something we got to kind of think about. And we could do it for the next one maybe. I got to kind of play around with it a little bit to see what works best. And not make it look like a brick. I mean... Like I said before, like we could just brick it all out right now, and then we could decide later. It's one thing, but let's see here. So we had an angled piece right here, and we can't even lead it out there anyway, so it's okay. So what can we do? So from here, we were using these kind of like slope blocks uh, for the most part so that's gonna like yeah so that's not gonna even work out so we we shouldn't slope it i guess no we could slope it do we slope it like that mm, i don't know it, it's just it's just kind of awkward <laughs> in some sense to even it out maybe we do enough where it stops even it out so like say i think we had it last time already which was kind of like bringing it all the way close to right around here actually we should finish this end first it looks like yeah we finish this end and that's when we can go with maybe a slope block or whatever the case is or whatever fits in between um, there. So we would need... What's going to be here is... Alright, so that's flushed here. 
And we're going to do the same with this side. Which is, once again, well, we need this piece to connect. And this piece to fix that. Oh, not that piece. This piece to make it flushed out. There we go. Okay. So, not too bad. Like, <laughs> this is kind of looking like a frog's neck in some ways. Alright, so, how do we connect to? That's the... Yeah, I don't know. So, here, it's, it's, it's even awkward because... This has multiple kind of shapes to it. So that's connecting to that. So what can go here is probably something like this. I guess. <laughs> but then that just kind of makes it look awkward over there. Um, and that means we can only add... What's this piece right here? The corner block. If we did that... We're going to end up with another kind of slope piece there. So let's just give that a shot. Okay. So that kind of e equals that part out. So we don't need this for now. This looks terrible because this doesn't connect fully well with one another. Is there a block to kind of situate this? Um, guess that might actually be it. It just looks weird. <laughs> Is there another block? There's got to be another block. Not really. I don't think it, another block would fit that, actually. So this is some kind of transitional block. So that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. This is the other side of a transitional block. That's not going to work either. That's looking a little too small. Yeah. I'm not seeing what I can do here. Um, let's try this. Yeah, so none of this kind of works out. Unfortunately. Because it just makes it look a little more on the chunkier side. Oh, wait. No. Did this work? No, this sticks out just a tad more. I just needed that block. I think I need... But then it's the same as this block. <laughs> so, yeah. Using that will flush this out a little bit for the most part. But it doesn't kind of close the door on this piece here. So, yeah. I'm having a hard time trying to transitioning these two pieces right now and i think you know we can just leave it as is right where we just leave the opening here so let's just get rid of this for now um and we fix this up let me just fix the side up too so we can see what we're working with all right so that's what we got right now so that's all squared away okay so that's all squared away so we just got to find a way to transition it um and we can transition it somehow in terms of you know getting getting pointy from here so we could do i don't know maybe like you know we're just gonna try it out and see where it goes so i was thinking something like this for the most part, and we'll bring it upwards, I guess. So, what would fit here? Probably... That strange, awkward piece again, this one, right here. So, if we could do something like that, maybe that will work okay. Yeah, I think that might work slightly better. It, it, it's not the best thing in the world right now, but... I'm gonna stick with it and see... How that kind of turns out. So. Boom. Okay, so that's... It's taking shape. It's it's getting there. <laughs> but once again, not the best thing in the world. But 
It, it's it's doing something to it. it it's going to show itself shortly to say a good to go or a no go. Um, okay, so that that does look okay. Kind of. <laughs> we we can kind of I don't know how are we going to close that out. So that looks okay. That's not terrible. Not the worst thing in the world, at least. Do do we close out? Where do we close out the wall? So once again, if we were to make this airtight, we do have to kind of mimic the same thing here. Oh, let's get rid of that one. And we'll just throw it here for now, right? So if we did it this way, that's where it ends up looking awful, right over here. But we'll find something for that. And I guess here we're just gonna close it out with a block for now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're just gonna add them first. Okay, so here we go. That is. Yeah, I'm not liking it too too much, but it's okay. Not the worst thing in the world again. Let's get rid of the lights really quick because we don't need that one. We don't need this one. Okay. So it, it's look it's taking a shape. Ooh, energy. no energy. We got our energy so we can continue working on this. So that is that. We can weld these up. So this part is looking okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. All right. So we can take that and this one we can figure something out for this, whether it's this piece or this piece right here. And I guess we could just leave it at actually, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't like this. So maybe we do that. That's what we're looking for. Here, that's looking a little better. That's a little bit on the awkward side, but it's, it's a little bit better. Um, and then we could just kind of close these things out too with a regular block. I think. Um, hmm. I don't know. I, I don't like the look of it, to be honest. It, it's, it's going a little too far. What if we didn't do this? What if we don't need the bottom half going down that far down? Well, this part can go further in. So, instead of having it looking like that, what if we... Grab this guy here, right? And call it... That's where we're gonna go straight. Meaning we get rid of this whole layer right here. Not the ideal thing to do because of everything I just built already, but... Yeah, I really don't see how we're gonna... I'm gonna add that there, so I'm gonna get rid of this layer. Um, I don't care at this point. <laughs> So let's just get rid of this layer right here and we'll figure out from there that so we don't need this layer right so we'll just get rid of it there <laughs> and so that's looking a little bit better we could go even further than that if we wanted to and I, I'm not liking this too much, as I mentioned before, but at least we got rid of a layer. We can go, can we go a step further? Yeah, let's go a step further. Let's get rid of this layer. I know we put in, we put in so much work into <laughs> designing that layer out a little bit, but it's not working out. So that's why we're just going to tear it down. And unfortunately, we're not even using this layer for anything anyways. So I'm okay with kind of taking it apart. So that's going to be fine. All right. So I'm just going to flatten it out right here. 
And the reason why I'm not removing this block is I think the um, cockpit is on there, the industrial cockpit. I will remove that eventually. Let me see. Let me let me do that right after this. So here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eliminate that piece. Now our bridge looks a little bit better in terms of being flat. Or we keep a nice little shape in the front. So we just transition from this to that. <laughs> Is what we need to do. Um Yeah. I think that's gonna be our best bet. And there we go. So we leave the flat piece here. We'll we're gonna fix this cockpit situation right now. So we just attach that up there. And we get rid of this block. And we'll put that there. Okay, so that fixes that up. Here we go. So that's the flat piece. And what we can do, actually, we're going to use this block, which is a beam. And we could play around with this to do this, for an example. So we can slowly get the beam towards the bottom without making it too awkward. <laughs> so hopefully that works out, right? So we're going to find a way to flush that out over there. So give me a second in terms of that. Oop, that's kind of floating, I think. Yeah, that might be floating. So we got to flip out the, yeah, we're going to do it this way. Just flip it around a bit. Yep. And same thing with this. So the biggest problem is because of the brickness of the bottom half, that's where it gets awkward. Um, but I think we can get that fixed somehow. So that's going to leak into this right here. So let's get rid of this. And how far is the reach for this here? Uh, we're pretty much there. So that's good. So that means we're going to add that piece here. And now we have some kind of connection to the bottom half. Not the best thing in the world once again, but better than nothing. And then from here, or I'm going to break it up for now. Um, there's no, I don't think we have any other choice <laughs> for the time being. So if this is the widest point of the ship, we're going to do it that way. Uh, yeah, we're just going to add them blocks here. Right. Yeah, that's going to be it. So that's that's very brick like. So it's going to carry. Going to carry like a cargo kind of system there. We could make it look a little better somehow. So I think just bear with me on that. But for now, it's just going to have to look like this. We're, we can add some more designs towards the inside um, quite soon. But I think we're just going to do it this way. And add one more, I guess. We're off to this. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah. We're just going to break it up right here. And, I mean, that's looking okay. It's looking a little bit better than... A froggy throat thingy majigger on there <laughs> so now we have like a, a bit of a beam connecting to the bottom half of the cargo ish area it's gonna be the brick for now I know I said brick probably like 20 different times already but I, I usually don't want to make my system look like a brick but we, we just got to figure out the intricate designing piece of it um, soon because well, we came in and close the whole thing because we have so many of these thrusters kind of in the way. 
So that's another problem that we're having. So we can kind of close these things out like that, right? And that might be okay in terms of design. It's, it's not okay in terms of um, an airtight system because it's definitely not. But it does look slightly awkward adding that bottom piece. If I kept the ship without the bottom piece, I think it would look even better. <laughs> but we do need to double decker this and I should actually make it a lot wider on the bottom. That's what it looks like. So if I make it wide, I just need to find the best way to transition this piece. See that big wider piece. So that's where I'm having trouble with. I want to keep it like this. But I also want to have the double decker part. Let me, we're just going to weld up this part for now. Keep the ship as is and eventually, hopefully in future episodes, this all transitions out a little bit better than what it looks like right now. Alright, so that's the most we can do for the outer... Uh, it's not looking too bad yet, but it does look weird in the back, unfortunately. So, it looks like I missed a few welding. Here we go, so that's all done. So we could make it look a little better. We could definitely make it look a little bit better there. So, keeping this piece like this was probably the better idea. We gotta figure out a rounding system for this brick piece. I do like the fact that if we do keep our thrusters, can we keep it like this so that it shoots through the hose this way? We could probably do that um, and we could kind of like round it out like this or something like that in the bottom if we need to, right? Which looks decent. And then of course these guys here. So we could do maybe these windows or something like that. I don't know. So that kind of looks okay. Uh, once again, it's this this whole transitioning here is the biggest problem that I am having. It looks pretty much <laughs> pretty bad. But if we add these kind of things here, just adds a little more design to it. That should be okay. Or if anything. We do it here. Um, so that'll be this. So instead of oop, instead of having the same exact angle as the the beams, we can put it here. So it's kind of like the support um, that connects to the bridge, and that would give it a little bit more of a design. Not anything crazy, but just a little bit more to it so so it has a bit of a transition to it so it's transitioning okay so I definitely did plan to make this a lot wider so I think if anything we could kind of round it out even more so we we add more to this maybe we do use maybe we use these slope blocks maybe we don't I'm not sure we can get it a lot wider I, I did kind of wanted to do again that spade shape as a wing type as well but I didn't want to do it like that so how can we do that from here so I guess we have to kind of angle it out this way somehow I think yeah I don't know <laughs> so it just needs to be out more so we, we definitely need to make it wider. So 
to do that. We could probably add a couple of blocks going this way. Okay, does that look okay? No, that looks terrible. So we need to add a block there and then we can add this. So that should look a little bit better. Okay, so that's that's better. So we're going to add the... Yeah, we can add this part to look a lot fatter or wider. And we can do it through these slope blocks like so. And we can add the same exact thing but starting from here. I think or we continue the slope from here so for an example we're just gonna slope it out this way hopefully nothing's gonna burn along the way so yeah I think that might do it but it's gonna look a little it looks like a turtle right now <laughs> with its arms um, so we're gonna have to <laughs> un animal make this thing. So that's a slope. Can we can we just like close it out now? Looks like we have to add a little more Energy. here. This is just a rudimentary test, I would think. So it will it'll just widen out like so. But would that look okay? That might look better. It's gonna make it a lot wider, of course. Um, maybe I don't. Maybe I need to get rid of all this. <laughs> it's another thing. Some of the iron thrusters could probably definitely go. Um, so we can leave it. Or we just leave this exposed on the top. And we build more on the bottom. So this is looking okay. The wing... The added wing style, not the best looking thing, but it, it is going to work in some ways. So, so we would have to add that here. So we can just add, yeah, we're going to add it here. So we can open this up some more for space. And that's just going to be a really, really big ship in that sense. Uh, which is good. Because we need a pretty much a battle cruiser in a way. So... Okay, so back at it, we I'm just gonna keep going with the design for now. We're gonna leave it open, like leave it as this for the time being. And we'll come back to it eventually to figure it all out. Okay, so yeah, I mean, right now I'm on a kind of like <laughs> I guess the creative block in some ways. But we should be okay. Um, here, we add that there. Okay. So that is going to extend the ship way, way big. Um, should we do it that way or the opposite way? Uh, I'm going to leave it like this for now. 
because once we put it together it might take shape and it might look a little bit better but right now it's looking yeah it's looking a little crazy to be honest so not too sure about this <laughs> but if we did weld it all up it might look okay i mean if especially if we add in the middle piece too right so i don't know i'm just gonna leave it like so just in case i do want to come back to it and kind of correct it or make it look a little better but i'm just gonna weld the top part first to see what that's gonna look like and then if we really have to we could Go crazy with it, make it look a lot better, or we dismantle it and do something completely different. Which, in some ways, I think that might be the case. Um, we, we just gotta think it through how we're gonna do this. So, just testing it, taking a lot of time to figure out what works best, and which is fine for the most part, but we it would be ideal to kind of get this done as soon as possible as well uh huh because we already have all the resources that we need we can gather a little bit more because i think once we get to the um wave portion of it we need to do repairs and stuff to existing um ships or or turrets and things like that we need to repair everything anyways so that's why we need a ton of ton of more things Okay, so that's actually looking okay. It looks like two ships, actually. <laughs> so it looks like this ship just landed on top of another ship if we do do it this way. So that's not a bad, bad idea. So let's just, let's just keep it up like that. So yeah, I mean, we could add side thrusting. We could do a lot of things with this. So this might, this might actually work out. We just, yeah, it's a, it's gonna be a really really large ship this way then, um, which is kind of what we wanted anyways. So let's just add it on the other side the same way, and see if that works out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so that's what we did. We finished the other side. Okay, so looking... Actually, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of looking like a bit of a butterfly-ish kind of thing. But what I was thinking is that now, this is uh, It's two by... It's a two up and down here, but we flipped it this way. It's three. So that way we can add the ion thruster somewhere in the middle. Right in between. To give it a little bit more shape and definition as well. So that way we can leave this part kind of empty for a ship or whatever the case is, right? Um, or a little, little um, drilling drill ship or something like that, right? So that's what we kind of plan to do. So let me open this spot up a little bit more so we can f maybe fly something in here. <laughs> so here we go. This is the back end. We probably add a hanger here or not, or we just leave it, leave it not airtight. So we could just quickly, easy dock into it instead of having to worry about being airtight and stuff like that. So this opening will allow, I think it's going to allow for a smoke grid ship. Let's just say for an example, 
if we use the small, yep, right here. Small grid, large cargo container. If we make it this size of a ship, um, and hopefully we don't make it too big or too too wide <laughs> or tall, we fit okay right like this. So it should be a simple drill ship where we can. We're, we're not going to be able to gather a lot. We don't need to gather a lot. We just need to find the ore, the resources, drill out as much as we can, bring it back, and so forth. So that's why that would be ideal in this case here. But opening this up, right? Kind of. If we open this part up because of this wing, it just opened a lot of room for other things, which is perfect. So we can add large thrusters. So we can add a large thruster right here to make it look a little bit better. So we need more exposed parts just to make it look a little better. Like the top here, everything looks great because it's exposed, right? So you have your thrusters exposed. You have your O2, H2, your engines, the hydrogen tanks, things like that are outside. So that's why it looks better in some ways because it gives them more design, more definition. But now since we have some of a brick here, which we, we did that for now, so we can come up with the design later. Um, although I'm not liking it as much as I thought I would is <laughs> the biggest part. But yeah, it does leave a lot of room for for additional design do we keep the top here maybe uh it depends if i can't close it out i might have to change things up so like these downward thrusts or upward thrusts likely got to remove those and figure something else out using a larger ion thruster um i think we can easily do that uh, given now given that we have this big of a wing space now so if we look at the view from here, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad at all. So yeah, it definitely needs a little more definition and designs, but I think I have the base of it. So this is the beginning of the double decker of the ship. So we have a front spade looking like thing, and then we have a little bit of triangular ship in the back. So it's taking shape. Um, We'll see what it turns out to be in the next few videos, but I think we're getting there. Uh, we have some cool aspects and some dull aspects of it, but eventually I think everything will work itself out and it's going to look a lot, lot better than what it is currently. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a ton of comments down below. Um, it helps to get your advice, get some ideas from you guys as well, and always appreciate any type of feedback you guys um, constantly give or uh, leave down in the comment section. Alright, so with all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.